Okay, so here we are, London Olympia Ski Show 2007. How are you enjoying it, guys? Do you want to introduce yourselves? I'm Paddy Graham, I'm 19 from Sheffield. I'm Murray Buckin, I'm 15 from Edinburgh. Hi. Joe Morrell, 19 from Devon. Exactly. And so it was about a year ago now that we were last at the ski show, did a little interview. Let's go through some of the achievements that we've had since then, what we've we been we achieved in the last year. Um, I've really been uh, trying to push myself out to Europe. Came second in the Austrian Open, which okay. is uh, which really good for me, and I uh, uh, won two of the Brits titles as well. That's cool, man. Great. And so heading back to Lax, when are you going to be out there? Uh, heading back to Lax around uh, around February. Going to try and get a kickstart to my season in America before that, oh, and then nice. back to Europe. Hopefully, there'll be some snow. And so Paddy's heading out to Lax. I know, obviously, you still got school things to do are you going to get what when are you going to be riding uh, just whenever there's school holidays but um, if there's really big competitions like the Austrian Open the European Open uh, I'll take time off schooling and go and do them uh, the Brits as well uh, I, I want to try and do well in all them and get myself more noticed and so Joe like I just heard about you like this last season I saw your video of the pistol flip and it was shooting around YouTube so like how many seasons have you done what Basically, I've only, I started freestyle about a year and a half ago, so I've only done one season. I was in Valdez there, and that was uh, a good marketing tool. That pistol flip of yours. Yeah. What, what, so, what is it exactly? It's a rodeo. Basically, it's a rodeo seven to misty five. Like I did the double bat flip out in Valdez there right at the end of the season. So when I was out there this summer uh, in South Bay, I was looking for something to like to get better to like progress the um, the doubles. Yeah, man. I kind of came up with it on the trampoline and went and did it. Really. How? So, where's yeah. the name from? It's from a guy uh, <laughs> called Pistol Pete, basically. Um, Pistol Pete. Yeah. Isn't he in um, Super Ted? Super Ted? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a bit of a joke, really, but the name kind of just stuck. It was just. Okay, uh, cool. And so, is it true at the time you weren't even sponsored and now they've all flopped? Yeah, it's only in the last month, month and a half, that really uh, people have been coming to me and just like recognizing me as a skier so I've been having such yeah it's been like an amazing year pretty much so. and so you've been enjoying the ski show as a whole have you managed to get out there to the stands a wee bit but here comes Tim's test basically I've decided to derive a test and basically it's just on no sports knowledge but every single answer to all these questions you could have found had you spent your time between riding so yeah. these are well these are the <laughs> questions as well so First, about resorts. Where is the resort of Eldora? Do you know? Have a guess. Canada. Eldora is in Colorado. Um, Murray, Gressony. France. Gressony is in in Italia. Joe, Grand Valeria. Valeria. Uh, I'll go for Switzerland. Grand Valeria is in. Andorra. Okay, which snow sport would you find a chicken loop, a bar, and a speed system? Downhill snow tubing. A chicken loop, a control bar, and a speed system are all found on the snow kite. Ever tried that? Ever thought about trying that? No, no, it's too far too extreme and gnarly. <laughs> yeah. What is the only carbon negative ski company? Uh, I'll pass. The only carbon negative ski manufacturer is Liberty Skis. Yeah, it's one of the I small was ones. Go to Good answer, but wrong. Um, and Joe, where and when are the next Olympics? Winter Olympics. They're in. Oh, winter. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't actually know. I think. I, I think. I don't know. Is it Vancouver? What, what year? Uh, 2010. The next Winter Olympics is Vancouver 2010. Correct! You've stolen that point, I'm going to give it you as well. Um, right, we're going to have some avalanche type ones now from Henry's Avalanche Talk. What degree of slope is most prone for avalanches? 60 degrees. 60? <laughs> 25. <laughs> uh, 50. And the most common slope angle for an avalanche is about 35 degrees to 38 degrees which is like a black run steepness so i guess the closest is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. well murray is killing it okay and which so avalanches again which facing slope is most prone like north south east or west north 
I would say North and South. And most avalanche accidents happen on North or North-ish facing slopes. Which month is most prone for avalanches of the year? Talking obviously winter, our oh, winter season. Um, I would say probably January. Most accidents happen in December, January and February, contrary to popular belief. A lot of people think it's March, but it's not. Um, last questions then. What is an what is uki? A type a type of vermin. Uki is snow in Japanese. That was hard. That was unnecessarily hard. I, I was going to say uh, a food. I was going to go for a sex position. Were you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you could invent it. How would it? How would it be? Yeah. Oh, watch out! <laughs> watch out! And um, it is a good one. Who? <laughs> Which skier that's riding uh, this week was rumoured to have shat himself at the Hunger Pain party? Tom West. Not me! It's Tom West. Oh. No. <laughs> Him. <laughs> <laughs> when, when he came in at six in the morning and woke me up. Oh, oh, no. Which young snowboarder is featured in a British snowboarder is featured in an international snowboard, snowboard film this year? Uh, <laughs> you, you know, you know. Yeah, I do know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Jamie Nichols. That'll be Solomon Snowball's bonfire rider, Jamie Nichols. Um, right, so, Snowfix is now sponsored by Nike ACG Sweet Spots. You've got one of your own, haven't you? Yeah. Tell us about that. Uh, so, basically, the Sweet Spots is a you know, personalised movie for you. Nike asked me what I wanted to do, what was my dream to do. And I came back to him and said, I'd love to do a, a nighttime shoot in the pipe. And they, they, you know, I kind of forgot about it. And then a few months later, they were like, oh, yeah, oh, we're going to do that thing, you know, that sweet spot. I was like, oh, wicked. And then, yeah, my own private shoot uh, in a pipe in Canatal. Uh, started shooting at like 11 o'clock in the evening. There was only me riding, so it was quite hard to get into. A few of my friends filming and team manager was there. And, I was sick. We finished at like half past three and oh, shattered, but oh, it, was it was a sweet spot. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's amazing. Right, well, let's check it out. Went up to Caratal this year for a night session. It's the first time I've done anything like this. How's it going? Pretty good. It was a 40 minute drive to the pipe on the glacier. There were a few guys from the resort there to meet us. I said they were going to be here. Where are they? Hey, Hi. is everything ready? It's all ready. It was unreal being up there after midnight with all the lights. Yeah, I was a bit nervous. It was crazy. I was having so much fun. But I was getting tired from all the hiking. And spotting my landings were pretty hard. But I was looking for one big trick before we finished up.
Riding the Cantal Hallpipe at night was a totally new experience for me. It was a dream come true.